Hurry up. We have to catch those children. But all this walking up the mountain is so boring. You are dull. Let me enlighten you, dimwits. We are not in any ordinary place. Why? Where are we? Atigra. What did you say? On the Hargita? That's right. You've got it. We are on the Hargita Mountain in Zeklaland. This is a peculiar place. The mountain here, in the bend of the Carpathians, lies in the cradle of the great magic horseshoe, which protects it from harm. The caves, castles, fairies, giants, and healing fountains, all those repulsively nice, sweet legends still blossom here. These legends have tortured me my whole life, but now it's time to take care of them. The horseshoe has reappeared, and I must have it. Oh, and which horseshoe do you need? The big one or the small one? I need them both, but first we must find the small one. It has power that you ugly cave-dwelling dwarves could only dream of. If I can just get hold of it, I will be able to do anything I want, and I will finally wipe these legends from the face of the earth. Nirsu Talava, Irsut Fumpatakal. Awake, you crater. Bubble forth the lava from your ashes. Fire glow and bring me my millstone. Up you come, my little beauty. Finally, my plan is almost complete. Wow. Wow. You've invented the wheel. And the middle is glowing. It is hollow in the middle. That glow is just moonlight shining through it. And what should we do with it? You two are going to roll this millstone right down there. Why don't you cast a spell to send it down there? Because, you fools, according to the legend, it has to be rolling. Otherwise, it won't work. You see, in the old days, there used to be a village at the bottom of the Hargita Mountain, teeming with God-fearing churchgoers. The Lord of all the devils wanted to corrupt the people and ordered his minions to create a mill at the stream of Vargas in order to grind the seeds of evil and wickedness. So we rolled huge rocks down the hill to shape them into millstones just like this one. The path they carved became known as the Devil's Trench. Right, you nincompoops. There's no time to waste. It'll soon be dawn. What are you doing? Put your back into it! What is that idiot doing? Well, he is gnomish, and he says everything backwards. Come to think of it, he does everything backwards. Oh, I've got it. Perhaps if you want him to push it downwards, tell him to push it upwards. That'll do it. And then, maybe... Listen up, Totty. We are pushing it upwards. Master, why are you limping like that? Because one of my legs is shorter than the other. Why is one shorter? It's just like the cows on the sides of a mountain. Wait, why are theirs shorter? Because they graze on a sloping meadow and have to keep their balance to stop themselves tumbling down. So they've developed shorter legs on one side. And if they come down from the mountains to the plains? They can't. Oh, so what were you doing at the top of the mountain? Grazing? Stop distracting me. Your questions are insufferable. I was grinding the single stone mountain. Oh, why would you do that? Some ugly old woman held me prisoner. 
She made me grind the mountains so hard that one of my hooves became shorter. I thought this hideous task would never end when the magic horseshoe fell from the sky. It fell from Prince Chaba's stallion, and I worked harder than ever to get my hands on that prize. And did you find the horseshoe? I managed to grind it from the stone in which it had lodged, but when I touched it, it burnt my hand and I lost it down the mountain. By the time I got down there, there was no sign of the horseshoe, and just my luck, it had landed exactly where those two children, Zete and Rika, happened to be standing. And they took off with it! What did he say? No, Master. He said, story. He wants you to keep going. The people who lived at the stream of Vardyash managed to divert the water with a heavy boulder, stopping the mill. This meant the devils had to work harder and longer to plow the seeds of evil and wickedness. Nine of them pulled the iron plow, and the mark it left is called Rooster's Groove. Just as one of the devils is about to throw the seeds, a cockerel! What's wrong? There's no time! We must go! Why? The rooster! Dawn is here! Ow! Oh! It burns! Well, now I know why it's called Rooster's Groove. Let's go! But what happens next? They all started burning like I am now! We devils can't be in the sunlight or we will perish! Why are you running? You can stay out here in the sun! You're safe! Ah! 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 You idiots! Why do you never listen? You're safe! I need you two to stay here, to stay on the trail of those two troublemakers. We will soon catch them, and the horseshoe will be mine.